Hello everyone, it's Glimmer here. Welcome to another playthrough. This is my second playthrough and first by myself seeing as Pixie's not here. She is doing her own video. This is an indie horror game called It Moves. I will put a link down below where you can get this game. This is the first indie horror game I've ever played. So I've seen other people play different horror games of indie horror games, but this is the first one I've ever played. And I'm new to the whole keyboard control thing, so bear with me. I'm more of a console gamer than a PC, but I'm starting to become a PC gamer. Um, but but for right now, let's just jump in and get started. I'm going to apologize ahead of time for any foul language used. Brightness is good. <coughs> Bedtime. Bedtime is supposed to be a happy event for a tired child. For me, it was terrifying. While some children might complain about being put to bed before they have finished watching a film or playing their favorite video game, me. when I was a child, nighttime was something to truly fear. Somewhere in the back of my mind, it still is. This is me. The reason I like these indie horror games, though, is because they got the old pixelated Nintendo, Super Nintendo type feel, which I love. I like the newer games with the graphics and stuff, but just because it has good graphics doesn't mean it's a good game. Full of toys and stuff. No chrome button. A bunk bed I sleep on top. Let's go out. I cannot prove that what happened to me was objectively real, but I can swear that what I experienced was genuine horror. I fear which in my life I'm glad to say has never been e equaled. I will relate to you all now as best I can. Make of it what you will. But I'll be glad to just get it off my chest. I apologize now for any mis mispronounced words. I can read, but I just mispronounce words a lot. This is my brother's room. He told me yesterday to keep out of the room that we both had shared until then. Got the brother? No. Oh, this is my father. Wrong button. I can't remember exactly when it started, but my apprehension toward falling asleep seemed to correspond with my being moved into a room of my own. This is my mother. Ventilation, I think mom said this is. I was eight years old at the time, and until then I had shared a room quite happily with my older brother. As is perfectly understandable for a boy five years my senior, my brother eventually wished for a room of his own, and as a result, I was given the room at the back of the house. As my brother was given a new bed, I was given the bunk bed, which we used to share. While I was upset about sleeping on my own, I was excited at the thought of being able to sleep in the top bunk, which seemed far more adventurous to me. Let's go back to the bedroom. Maybe something different will happen. Alright, it's bedtime. Already? Yes, adults need their sleep. You see, you'll be sleeping alone for the first time. You excited? Yes, Mom. Sorry, I'm trying to do different voices, but I don't know if this is going <laughs> to work or not. Alright, I'm turning off the lights. Good night. Good night. It's like extremely dark. Chapter 1, Cave. Ooh, spooky. Shh. 
sure, why not? Hope that saves. Oh shit, wrong button. I think. Well, that was the right button. I don't know, maybe we hit the wrong thing. What on earth is that? It's like a turtle or some kind of weird animal. Wrong button. Don't let me do nothing, so then it's not important. Creepy ass looking monkey on top of the house. Shift button around. A pot and some ragged cloth. I wonder what's cooking. Can't be nothing good. <laughs> A window. Nothing. A cold and welcoming breeze comes from the bottom of the stairs. Stay here for a second. Well, is that just lovely? Stalking is such a strong word. I prefer to think of it more as intense research on one individual. By the way, your missing sock is under your bed with me. Creepy. Just kidding. Weird. Let's see what's down in the basement. Maybe nothing good. Obviously, really dark. Weird mushroom looks poisonous. Well, you're in a weird cave, so probably. Something's following me. Another mushroom, I guess. Weird mushroom looks poisonous. Okay. Evidently, that's the only thing down here. It's just weird mushrooms that look poisonous. Oh, that looks lovely. A purple mushroom. Definitely poisonous. I would say so. I think the path behind me just fell apart. There is red liquid seeping out from the mushroom hat. Ew. Back this way. Really nothing. I think I got too many programs running or something, that's why it's buggy. Well, that was cute. Not. Oh, it's a puzzle. Well, at least it's not just run from one end of the place to the other. It's actually got some puzzles in here. Which evidently I'm not going to be able to get past. Bitch. And how long are we going to be here? Maybe all night. Just kidding. Okay, let's go up. It's obviously glitching a bit. Worse than a bit, I'll say.
the back. Turn. Alright. Is that it? Yay, I did it! But we'll be here all night. Nothing down that way. Obviously another poisonous mushroom, so there's no point in clicking on it. Well, something else is following him, evidently. That thing, I can't figure out what it is. It kind of looks like if you played the Castlevania Laminate of Innocence, it kind of looks like the Medusa head that runs around that you have to kill. But that's just what I'm guessing it looks like because I only seen just a glimpse of it. Uh oh, cave in, cave in, cave in, run, 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 run. Oh shit! Run, run, run! Go on, run, run, run! Run, dude, run! It's gaining on you! It caught you! Uh oh. Knock him off. Get stuck. When I still hear music. Oh. Mom, I had a bad dream. Mom. Well, evidently you have to go to her because she always didn't hear you. Look wrong way. Maybe I just want to see what happens by going to the brother's room. It's locked, stupid bro. <clears throat> Mom, I had a bad dream. Sweetie, what's wrong? I had a bad dream. Oh, that's too bad, sweetie. I'll be up in a minute and we can eat breakfast together. All right, hurry up. Go change your clothes and I'll be right there. Now let's go back to the room where you had that terrible nightmare. Good idea. If it was a nightmare. And so another day started. It was a day of little importance to our story. I won't bother you with the details. The one thing I remember is that even though I played with friends like I always did, I somehow still felt lonely. I didn't enter my new room until later that night, so it was time to go to sleep again. Okay, everyone, I'm going to have to end the game here for right now, but I will see you all tomorrow. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And if you want to see other videos like this or other games or 
different things you'd want us to do, please leave a comment down below and we'll get to them. Thanks.